What's up guys, Jim here. Today it's a diesel filter on a Fiesta. First step, we're going to remove the engine cover. And the fuel filter is located next to the battery on the right hand side of the engine. Okay, to start off, we're going to remove the top part of the filter cage with your 8mm spanner. There's three bolts you need to undo, then the top of the cage will just pull off. Alright then, with that top part of the cage removed, we can access the filter underneath. We need to take the sensor plug off. Now you can do this easily with a flathead screwdriver to help you. Just take it off, move the plug out of the way. And now we can start to remove both the fuel pipes. The first one you need to squeeze the white squares, push the pipe towards the filter and then pull the pipe off. And with the second one, just push the tab in on the top, the white tab. Again, push it forwards towards the filter and pull it off. Right, with all the top disconnected, we can now undo the two 8mm bolts and remove the whole fuel filter. Once we get the fuel filter pulled up, you'll notice a little black knob on the bottom of the filter. If that comes off with the old one, great. If not, it's going to stick inside that filter housing cage, we'll need to remove that uh, as shown later on. Right, so now it's time to remove the old filter. We do this by undoing the three T15 bolts at the top. Undo them all, remove them, and then you're going to need a suitable container to drain your fuel into and you're going to turn the centre tab of the filter with your finger over the bottom of the black knob you can turn it and pull it up and the fuel should drain out the bottom There, once the fuel is all drained out of it, you can simply pull the top off. It's always a good idea to keep your finger over that black knob while you do it, and then just let the excess fuel that's left in there drain into your container. Grab your new filter, make sure that it's got the seal attached and that it's installed properly, or when you build it up it will leak everywhere. So with that installed, push the top of the filter back on and that centre part that we twisted originally and pulled up to drain the fuel you're going to push back down and twist it back closed and then it's just a case of putting the three bolts back in tightening them down evenly and uh, rebuilding As you can see there's that little round well in the bottom of the cage, that's where that plastic would get stuck if it didn't come off with a filter house and you need to make sure that's not in there, the new filter won't sit in properly. Now 
remember to uh, prime your fuel filter, get all the nice fuel in there and all the air out, otherwise you, uh, you won't be able to get it to start. And that's going to be it for this video guys, I hope you found it useful and it helped, if it did leave a like, hit that thumbs up for me, stick around, new videos every week, subscribe, see you in the next one, peace.